Now it's time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Well, our buddy Lou is back. How you doing, Lou? I'm doing well. How are you? Don't you just love this weather? Oh, it's fantastic. Right? But I'll Sweater, still be inside. <laughs> Do you ever go outside? Yeah, just to go to my car. Anyway, <laughs> enough about okay. me. All right. All right. Enough about you. They've made enough fun about you. All right. Let's <laughs> talk about... Um, Let's talk about lawns and some fall seeding because this is a great time to uh, take advantage of this. Take a look and if you see like the lawn's a little thin, you know, in areas where maybe you just haven't been able to grow the grass or maybe you've got some, uh, even some divots in the grass that, um, you know, are from different areas. You can see how this is kind of thinned out and this can be due to a bunch of things, traffic going back and forth on it or this is where my uh, adult kids like to play uh, wiffle ball and that's where they pitch from. So what you want to do is get a small a rake like this and really kind of loosen up that soil because it's all compacted, which is why the grass isn't growing. These cooler temperatures, I know it's going to be hot this weekend, but this is a great time to do this. And you, you don't need to get really deep. I just need you to kind of cut into that surface a little bit to loosen up the soil. And if you pull a little grass or debris up there, that's okay. But when you take a look at it, that you know this is what I want to see, a, a good like half inch, quarter inch of depth there that you're going to pull out of there. Then you're going to prepare for this and head to the home center or the hardware store and find the grass seed uh, that fits the area where you want. This easy seed from Scott's on the back has fertilizer built in, that uh, lawn patch in the center or the uh, dense shade there. Then go ahead and sprinkle that seed over the areas that you just loosened up. Uh, this is really uh, critical to get really good coverage. And, and I know that we're getting into winter, but this will establish the root growth now so that your lawn is looking good even a month from now. But I don't want you to just leave the seed there because if you just put that down there, the birds will come and eat it all. So you either want to get some topsoil or some peat moss, which I have on the left-hand side. And I'm going to use actually peat moss on it right now. And uh, you're going to take that peat moss by hand and cover it. And that is going to help uh, cover the seed. And also when you go ahead and water that, it's going to keep the seed moist. And that's the most important thing to help it germinate because we still have nice warm ground temperatures that uh, are there to help that seed germinate. And once you get nice coverage, you want to see that nice brown coverage over the top of it there. Go ahead and take a sprinkler or if you've got a sprinkler system and just give it a little bit of water. Not too much, uh, maybe twice uh, twice a week or so for you know half hour or so and, and get the water on there and that should work. And then on those deeper divots uh, that I spoke about, rake those up as well this because it's deeper just go ahead and put the grass seed right on that loose soil on top of where that divot is and then take topsoil uh any kind of topsoil any dirt you have go right over the top and fill it up so you're going to cover that seed entirely and then water that area and and it will do a really nice job for you Lou, always some good tips i hope you have a great weekend buddy you too you can check out Lou at House Smarts on Saturday afternoons at 3.30 on WGN. He's also on WGN Radio with House Smarts Radio Saturday morning 6 to 10. Hey, Paul.